So let me continue with the previous session. Uh, earlier we just recap about uh, quality control in terms of the food industry and I told there is um, by through the conveyor belt this food industries has been uh, food, indust food industries quality control has been firstly it was introduced by the Ford Motor Company in the earlier of 20th century and uh, it can helps to do certain kind of processes which it was mentioned in this screen for example generally manufactured is a broader term that can refers the entire process for creating a product from the initial design to the final assembly so it encompasses all the activities which has been involved and also producing a product which can includes from research and development design production planning sourcing of raw materials and uh, fabrication assembly in manufacturing testing quality control and these are the major things which are which it was listed for uh, doing the manufacturing of the product in terms of the automobile and the mass scale and at the same time an assembly line is a specific manufacturing process which has been used to mass the produce uh, mass producing the standardized product so that is the purpose of launching this uh, assembly line okay so but at the same time how it has been utilized uh, the use of manufacturing assembly line can provide several benefits for a businesses uh, that is include increased productivity and uh, it can the improving the assembly lines which can allows for the efficient production of the goods at a faster rate than traditional manufacturing it helps to reduce the labor cost for example when I am using the assembly lines, it can reduce the labor cost by minimizing the number of the workers needed to manufacturing a project. This is because the each worker or workstation which can able to perform a specific task or operation which can reducing the training and uh, skill required for each worker. And it, al it helps to achieve the consistent product quality. For example, uh, let us take the assembly lines which helps to ensure the consistency and uh, the product quality by standardizing the production processes. This is because each workstation is responsible for a specific task or operation which helps to ensure that the same process which is followed for each product. So that is why I told this consistent product quality and been achieved and the uniform kind of standards which has been achieved for the uh, products manufacturing and also it helps to reducing the waste for example uh, an assembly line can help to minimizing the waste by optimizing the production process and also reducing the number of errors or defects in the production process this helps to reducing the time and resources needed to manufacturing a product and also it helps to increase in the production volume okay let us take an assembly lines enable the businesses to producing the goods at a larger scale than traditional manufacturing methods this is because assembly lines are designed to be highly efficient and it can able to producing the goods much faster that is why the due to the linear arrangement in this workstation and the divisions of the labors among the workers which helps to streamline their production okay and here some of the equipments which has been manufactured with the help of the manual assembly line for example if i'm going to take about the audio equipment electric motors pumps automobiles furnitures refrigerators cameras luggages product usually made on usually made on manual assembly lines like in tablet computers cooking ranges microwave ovens and telephones dryers for personal computers and everything which has been manufactured which it was shown in this uh, picture in this screen and here there are some uh, major applications which i'm going to categorize into five different category the first one is called continuous flow assembly line so it is about the materials and components movement in the finished product line 
and second one cellular assembly line it is about the cellular assembly which has been produced in the small batches and third one it is about the balanced assembly line it is a specific sequence of manufacturing which helps to ensure that there is a no workstation while others remain hidden and fourth one is about the flexible assembly line um, this can be easily reconfigured to accommodate the product design or the demand changes and the fifth one it is about the automated assembly line which helps to automate the manufacturing processes and reducing the need of the human labor for increasing efficiency so let me see in detail in more in our upcoming sessions thanks so much by dr yuvraj